Really excited for today's video. Last week, I talked about hacking on that thing, the children's power wheel. Well, this week, I want to talk about hacking on that thing, my Ford Focus. Let's find out more now. The Ford Focus that I have uh, has an interesting feature. It has this home button on here. Now, the home button doesn't particularly do much other than tell the navigation system to turn on and show you the route home. Um, and by the way, from a safety point of view, if your car has one of these, never, ever, ever set it to your home address. Set it to somewhere nearby. So that's set nearby. It got me thinking though, why can't I push that button and have it take me home? I don't want to drive, I just want to go there. So this project was, can I hack a Ford Focus and get it to become an autonomous car that can take me home? One of the things I had to do was give the car vision. Uh, the car already had ultrasonic uh, systems in it. What I did was I ended up ripping those out and replacing them with 150 degree uh, camera lenses to give the car vision. Uh, they actually fit perfectly in the spot, so it actually looks kind of quite tight and nice and tidy. They are black dots now rather than uh, white ones, but uh, you know, worked quite fine. Now, it's gonna be hard to see in under here. Uh, this is the back of the car. And you can see here's the uh, the camera back of the module with the control system coming off it. Uh, up into here where I've got the Arduino system and this cabling coming out the back, which then runs around over there to uh, chassis rail and takes all the feed information from the, the five cameras back here up to the front of the car for the master control system. Each camera has its own Arduino board uh, down in behind here. What I've then done is here running this cable up through under the bumper around uh, and I kept it nice and tidy, tucked it up through into the back of here. Behind this box uh, is, is the brake fluid cylinder system uh, and there was a big gap in the back of there that actually fit a Arduino control system really, really well. So I've got a master system up in here and then slave systems all behind each of these cameras. That gives the car enough processing power to actually understand what's going on with the vision. So here on the inside of the car, I didn't have to do a lot really. I did want some feedback from the system to make sure it's actually working and things. So I've taken a small OLD screen uh, here and that has, has again, it's, it's a chip on a chip. It's a um, smart view uh, Arduino system, uh, great for just little outputs. And so it's taking a feed off the control system uh, and putting it straight into here. And there's, there's a full Arduino chip behind that screen. It's really quite cool. I've been playing with the Arduino systems. The Arduino Uno uh, here is one of the main control boards behind all the cameras. Right, well, I am on a public road. Going to a car park to actually do a proper test on this thing. But, let's see what happens. It's engaged, off we go. So, hands are up, out of the way, and you can see that the car is autonomously driving by itself. It's reading the surrounds, it's looking for the line on the road, it's looking for the curb, uh, this sort of stuff. It's uh, working out what's going on. Now, um, there's actually a, uh, oh gosh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a guy on his Ford who wanted to pull out of his driveway. Holy stuff. Wow, I'm just gonna stop the car here. I guess that's why you don't do these things on public roads. Well, at least the car saw him coming out of the driveway. Holy crap, I had a bit of a, yeah, that's still not quite right. Anyway, I'm actually just driving into a public car park here. It's not my first time hacking on a Ford. 2013, I led a team uh, to participate in the Ford Hackathon here in Melbourne, and we actually won that. Okay, so again, hands off, not doing anything, and you'll see the car is driving itself monitoring what's going on around. Trying to get camera angles for the mount that I've got, a little bit tricky. <laughs> so there we go. That's what I did with a whole handful of uh, Arduino controllers, some cameras, a Ford Focus, a lot of Google, <laughs> a lot of Google. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha!